everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Casca and in today's video I'll be making an 1880s bodice. I'm so excited to finally be at this point in the 1880s project. The general idea for this outfit is based on this image that I've drawn. It's kind of been cobbled together out of fashion plates and also this outfit from this book. Apparently this has been based on an actual outfit, but this book definitely seems geared more towards costume. So it just doesn't seem quite as... So there's just some parts of it that just don't, that seem a little bit more costumey and not quite historical enough, if that makes any sense. Like, you can see here that this sleeve is very simplified and everything in it is kind of simplified. So I prefer to make mine with a pattern that's like an actual historical pattern. I don't actually have anything for the 1880s though, but after asking around it seems that there's not that much difference in the structure between an 1880s bodice and an 1890s bodice which I do have instructions for how to draft a bodice for 1890s. Fabric for this. How beautiful is this? <laughs> I spotted it online and I just had to get it. It's so pretty. So this is going to be the main part of the bodice. I have also got some just plain grey cotton for the kind of faux shirt part and for the faux lapels I found these pants in a charity shop which that's a pretty good match <laughs> I didn't even bring a scrap of this into the shop with me I just saw it and I was like I'm sure that's the same colour so I'll be able to use this for a lot of the detailing work right so the first thing I'm gonna have to do then is draft my pattern and to do that, we're going to jump back in time to a few days ago when I actually drafted the pattern because somebody was very stupid and had to re-record their intro because the first time round, they pressed record when they should have pressed stop and stop when they should have pressed record. <laughs> Okay, I've come to a part that makes no sense. Listen to this. Now, on the long arm of the square, we find what size is given on the two thirds scale opposite the 10 inch size of blade point. Having ascertained what it is, for this size it is 15 or half of 30, we find on the short arm 15 on the scale of fourths, three and three quarter inches, and this amount we place back from K to obtain L from where a line is drawn up to the top line. What? Thank you. 
okay so this is mock-up number one it's not perfect there are a few things that are wrong with it first and most obvious not enough room in the chest it meets quite good at the top and it just about meets at the bottom but we're quite a bit out at the bust other things it comes down a little bit too low here I think it needs to come up about half an inch and I think it needs to come down quite a bit at the back and it's coming right up to here so this needs to be brought down probably about an inch and a half I'd say you can also see that the shoulder is slanting backwards so I think that needs to come that'll be about an inch and a half I'd say it needs to come forward and also needs a little bit taken out of here as well just because I'm getting quite a bit of wrinkling here this is cut without seam allowance as well so yeah I think quite a bit needs to be taken off on the shoulder it's a good starting point though not too bad the alteration should be reasonably straightforward to make so I'm going to crack on with that and then make another mock-up Okay, so this is fitting a lot better. The shoulder seams are more or less in the right place. Do you look like it from here? It fastens down the front now, so that's all good. Only little things. I'm getting a little bit of bunching here. So I think this needs to be brought up a little bit maybe only about like half an inch on the sides and then maybe like a full inch at the front or three quarters of an inch at the front uh, the other thing is I'm getting some weirdness at the back there's a bit of excess fabric there so if I just take out a little bit here that should bring that in I have to work out exactly how much that is is it's difficult to see on myself I'll probably pin it and then I'll be able to see how much needs to be taken out there the next step then is going to be working out adding a bit of extra length to the front of this so it's going to be working out having the darts pinching in here and then coming back out again to get over my hips and then bringing that down there and then adding the bit here for the bustle that might take a little bit of experimenting I doubt I'll get it on the first try for this front bit I don't want to mess around with my darts so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is cut it in half measure down here so that's a half inch okay so for the front one I thought I was recording that but apparently not I've cut along here and taken out that excess and what I need to do now is take it out with these two as well the 
this one is a half and I'm going to taper it to a quarter and then from here go from a quarter to nothing and I think that should work Right, so next thing I need to do is add on some to the bottom. Right, so this is what I've got. Got a piece added to the bottom of that, and my darts will come out and then taper out. Section two will join onto there, and then we've got this bit that's been added here. getting even longer until at the back we've got this big bit I may end up changing it I'll have to do a mock-up and see if it's gonna work okay so this is where we are at the fit is really nice I'm really happy with it I've got enough of a seam allowance going down the whole front apart from this little bit here where it gets a little bit tight I think it's just struggling a bit to get over this part of my hip so I'm gonna add maybe like half an inch I think that's all it'll take just to get this bit to close nicely yeah I think half an inch would do it I'm really happy with how this is looking at the back. I think that looks super pretty. It's laying nicely over the bustle, which is what we like. The only other little alteration that I need to make to it to get the fit just right is it's sitting a little bit high here. So all I need to do there is just shave off just a little bit I think I might also need to add like a half inch back onto the shoulders here but I think once that's done we'll be golden the next thing for the actual costume once we've got the bodice just right is I need to do a bit going down the front here which is going to be in a different fabric and that's going to button down so what I'll need to do is work out how wide I want that section to be, cut that off and then add seam allowance to that bit. I will also need to make a little button placket. Because this front bit is so curved to get over my bust, I'm not going to be able to do it like with a modern shirt where you just extend it a bit and then fold it under. The curve's just too big so I am going to have to do a separate piece that will fold over to the inside for that. I am also going to have to draft a sleeve pattern. I don't particularly want to draft a sleeve pattern but it needs to be done. There are instructions on doing a basic two part sleeve in here. There's not as many measurements and stuff involved with that than there are with doing the bodice and I think since I managed to do the bodice okay I should be able to handle the sleeve. 
I'll do a quick mock up of the sleeve once it's done just to make sure that it's fitting okay and then I think it'll be time to start cutting out the fashion fabric. I think we're getting somewhere. There's still some areas that aren't quite right and there's a few mistakes that I've made. One of the mistakes was I forgot that the collar was supposed to meet so it's not supposed to cross over like this. So that means I've got to take off about an inch in length on it. I also need to take off about a half inch around the neck in general because it's a little bit too big. Other thing, I'm not 100% happy with this shape. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is bring it out a little bit more here because it seems to kind of dip in and then out. So I'm thinking if I bring it out a little bit here and then if I have it go down to like a proper point I think that's going to look a lot prettier. The other kind of big thing was remember I made that adjustment to the shoulder seam here because when I drafted it I thought that's a bit too far back. I was watching The Gilded Age last night and I noticed that the shoulder seams on pretty much all of the bodices slant backwards. So I asked some people who know a lot more about this stuff than I do and thank you to Aura Lynn for confirming that my original draft was correct and it should go further back. Luckily I've kept that original pattern draft so I'll be able to just add those shoulder differences back into my pattern. Another just small thing is this is a little bit loose. I'd like this to be a little bit more pinched in. So that's something that I can easily fix though. Because I'd had these darts coming to a point which I've now realised also isn't actually correct. There should be a bit more room at the bottom so that you can cut through the dart iron them flat and then put boning in. So I can easily get rid of this extra fullness by just adding that into the bottom of this dart. That should fix that. Right, so I have redrawn my pattern. First thing that's going to be really easy to do is to sort out these darts. So the way I had them before Right, the way I had them before, these bits were just going down to a point like that. But what I'm going to do is, from the centre point, I'm going to measure out the same width that I've got here and add that in here. So that should take out that extra fullness. Next thing I need to do is add some back into the shoulder so that it's slanting that way instead of being like a modern shoulder dart. Now if I remember rightly and looking at the old pattern it was an inch and a half that I took off last time. So I shall add that back in. Um, I'm actually thinking it might to, it might want to curve a bit, just a bit, and then what I have to do 
what I have to remember to do is I'm just going to compare it to this one. See the angle. Well, I've ad I've added a little bit more to it. I've curved I've curved it out a bit more. So. Split the difference. Okay, so the next thing I needed to do was bring this bit out and taper this bit in. So I only want there to be about an inch on that bit. So literally the width of the bottom packet. That looks like it's going to be a lot better to me. Now I just need to add take away this from the back piece and then do another little mock up but I'm thinking this should be it Right, everything that needs to be surged has been surged, so don't have to worry about my raw edges because I do not have the spoons for hand felling. It's actually reasonably straightforward from now, it's just a case of putting everything together. Only complicated bit is going to be the very front bit, so I will check in back with you when I'm doing that. Everything is stitched together apart from the shoulder darts. That is because the fake lapel part is going to go kind of into that, so I'm waiting on that. What I need to do now though is attach this. And I'm doing it as if it was like a, a normal button placket that's in two parts. So I'm going to be pinning it along this edge and then what's going to happen once it's pinned is that flips out and then the underside gets folded in and stitched by hand along the inside so, so it's also kind of like basically the same way that you do um, a waistband as well I just realised I forgot something. Well, it's not supposed that I forgot something. It's that I've just realised how I can make something easier. I am going to sandwich the 
fake lapel in here as well because that's going to save me a job later. seriously <laughs> I'm really liking how this is looking such a pretty shape I really really like it this has got to be folded in a half inch all the way around so you'll see a little bit more of the plaid and obviously I need buttons going down and I've got to put the collar and the sleeves on but I'm so happy <laughs> I'm thinking my next step is going to be doing a little bit of hand sewing on the inside um, and on this because I'm going to slip stitch this down so that you can't see the stitches. I'm dreading the buttonholes. The buttonholes aren't going to be fun because there's going to be about 14 of them. You know how you can make me feel a little bit happy about all those buttonholes though? If you give this video a little like. <laughs> It really does help with the algorithm and it's really appreciated. Back to this. So for the sleeves, they have got a little cuff that's in this fabric on the bottom. That should be reasonably straightforward to put on. It is starting to get late now, it's like 7 o'clock, so the sooner I crack on with this and get it done, the better. So this is my boning for the inside, what I've done is, these are little offcuts of synthetic baleen, they're way too small to do anything else with so they're going to go there and then I've got some twill tape which I'm going to fold over the ends 
and then stitch that all the way around. Ideally I would have liked to have used black but the black that I've got is way too wide. These are on the inside anyway so nobody's going to see them. so happy with how this turned out like I can't actually believe that I have made this <laughs> I don't think I've ever made something that fits so nicely before <laughs> it looks exactly as I envisioned in my head and I adore the colors I'm so so happy that by chance I managed to find the pants that I borrowed this fabric from, the little embellishments on it, like the cuffs and the fake lapels and the collar. I think it might have been a little bit boring if they were just in black or grey or something. The teal just works so nicely. And I'm aware that on camera this shows up more kind of blue, but it is more of a kind of teal colour. Little things! would have been nice if the collar perfectly matched. I was out by like not even half an inch but you're not going to see that once I've got like a cameo brooch there so that's okay. The buttons I would have liked them to have been grey but I didn't have 14 identical grey buttons this is something that I could potentially swap out in the future though, it's not a huge deal. There's also a few little areas that are just a little bit messy. Like if I do it again then I would have prepared better and been able to tidy those up. Just little things like the seam allowance flipping over on one side so it's all nice and flat and then a little fold. But little mistakes happen in every project. Again, it's not a huge deal. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so, so happy with it. And I'm really looking forward to getting on and making the skirt for this as well. That video will be coming out in two weeks time, so do stick around and keep an eye out for that. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making this. And if you'd like to see more videos of me trying to make things, why not subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. I do my very best to upload every two weeks. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!